So here we have a time dilation problem. And so what we have is an astronaut traveling to Proxima Centauri, which is actually our closest star apart from our own sun. And it's a distance of 4.3 light years away. That is, it takes light 4.3 years to get there. But that's beside the point. So we're told that this astronaut travels for 10 years. In other words, about taking five years to get there and five years to come back. An astronaut is traveling at a relativistic speed that is in this case, 80% of the speed of light, and therefore the time that they observe is different to the time we observe. So we're told a couple of things here. First of all, we know that the velocity is equal to 80% of the speed of light. So I'm gonna write it as 0.8c. Secondly, we're told a time of 10 years. Now this is critical here. This is 10 years relative to us. So this is not what we call the proper time, this is the dilated time. It's what we observe because we're outside the frame of reference of the astronaut. And we're asked, well, what is the age of the astronaut when they return? So that is their proper time and we don't know that. So that's the way you set out the data. You then write down the formula and the formula says that the time outside the frame of reference is equal to the proper time, which is the time of the astronaut as they measure, divided by the square root of one minus V squared over C squared. If I substitute everything in, I'm gonna get 10 is equal to T naught, the thing we're looking for, all over the square root of, now our V squared is 0.8c, therefore all squared. So if I put the, that in, all I'm going to get left is 0.8 squared. You can see now it becomes relatively straightforward. So as a result, my t naught is going to be equal to 10 multiplied by the square root of one minus, in this case, I have 0.64, because that's 0.8 uh, squared. When I calculate that out, I'm going to get a value of six years. So the astronaut in this case has aged six years relative to your aging of 10 years. Sounds weird, but that's time dilation for you. In any case, my name is Paul from High School Physics Explained. Take care, bye for now.